Okay, so recently, please excuse the background noise, the baby's back there. So hope, hopefully you can hear me. Recently, I posted a video of myself wearing a Crown Royal Peach mask that I made from the actual bag. So, and since then, I've noticed um, some other YouTubers making masks from the bags, but I also noticed that they didn't have, they weren't showing the words on their mask or the peach. And I also realized that people want a no sew mask because they either can't sew or don't want to sew or in a hurry or whatever. They just want something easy. So I'm going to show you using this, this regular Crown Royal mask because I'm not buying any more peach because honestly it was nasty. So um, I'm going to use this regular one to show you how to do it using hot glue. And I've actually used hot glue to make masks before, like this one right here. And this has been in the wash and in the dryer and came out and it's still intact. So I'm gonna do that. First of all, you need to make um, this pattern, which is a really easy pattern. And the pattern is um, nine and a half inches wide long. So this would be like across your face and it'll be five and a half inches in height so um we're just gonna measure on the paper nine and a half inches and then we're gonna wherever my pencil went i'm gonna measure nine and a half inches across right here Draw a straight line all the way down, and then we're going to cut it. Let me get my other scissors, though. Okay, so we're just going to mark it at nine and a half. Draw a line down. And cut that off. With the scissors, not your fabric scissors. Okay, so I just cut this off the end. So now it's nine and a half inches across. And now we're gonna start at the top and just measure six and a half inches down. Six and I'm gonna mark it and draw a line all the way across here. I'm just gonna use this extra piece of paper. can see what I'm doing. Draw a line across and then cut that off. Okay, so now we got all those cut off. Now we need to find the center point and the easiest way to do this is to just fold it in half this way. So just want to um, pick it up and Fold it in half. You don't have to like be all like extra firm with it or nothing just to find the middle here. So now it's in half. Open it up because we need to find the middle of each side and fold it in half the other way as well. I'm gonna open this back up. So now you've got your middle parts. So this is the middle top, middle bottom, the sides here. Now on these sides, these sides are about two inches, two inches um, long. So you just start right here at the middle you're gonna you're gonna measure one inch on each side of the middle part. So you got your middle piece. Where's my pencil again? There we go. And just mark it here. And then mark it here. See? 
you got a mark on this end, a mark on this end. You come over here and do the same thing. The one inch mark, one inch on each side of it because it's two inches. So in order to get this shape, you're just gonna freehand it from here. So you're gonna start right at the top one. So this is one inch from your middle and this is one inch from your middle. Maybe you can see it better over here. This is your middle, one inch up, one inch below. Start right at your top one and just freehand curve it, just like that. Right on the other side, and do the same thing. Start at your mark and just freehand curve it up. This is the easiest way to get this pattern. It's not like, you know, a big deal. And then you're gonna do the same thing at the bottom here. So there's your middle point now here at the bottom. Start right here. Freehand, curve it up. The middle here. Freehand, curve it up. Right there. So now you've got this shape drawn out. And just cut it out. So now it's all cut out and you see the basic shape is pretty much like mine, but this one is a little wider. So, but you, I don't know if you can tell the difference. Mine has a slight curve on each one of these. This curves a little bit. So just give each, at each point, just give it a little curve and then cut it off. So. I'm just gonna curve, let me see, make sure you can see. Just come in and just curve it in a little bit. Just a little curve, just to make it look better. I know this looks like a lot, but, and you don't have to do this. You can just do one of the other tutorials if you want. It won't hurt my feelings, I don't care. But I just thought um, these looked a little different since you could actually see the Crown Royal sign. Just thought it would be cool. So then we're just going to cut those little pieces off. So now you're going to put this shape. You turn around so you can see it. So decide um, which part is going to be the top and which part is the bottom. Because you know the top part always has like a deeper nose part but i'm just gonna curve the bottom part in just a little bit and just snip off that point so this isn't like a precise project it's, it's pretty simple but you know just and this is your mask this is going to be your mask template just like that i know it seems like a lot just to get started but it'll turn out good now we're at the good part to make this, you're gonna to have to turn this into a piece of fabric. So take your fabric scissors and you're gonna cut the top of this off and you're gonna cut right across the bottom to begin with. Do not cut this um, string, because you may wanna use this. I used the string in the last one, but I think I'm gonna use elastic in this one. And this is actually um, hair elastic that you would use to put um, in braids you can wrap braids in it but whatever elastic you want to use or you can just put it put use this string so don't cut this string just cut the top off there's a top and you'll be able to take that string out and use it for your ears and now you're just gonna cut off the bottom part make sure this, is, this isn't like tucked in because you don't want to um, cut anything off that you're gonna use so
fluff it out as much as possible. As a matter of fact, before you cut the bottom off, just to make sure it's as flat as you can get it, flip it over. Flip it over so it's on the back side now. Find the middle and cut right down the middle because we're going to open this up to make it um, a piece of fat. Do not cut the front. Open the bag up. Open the bag up. See? Open the bag. Cut down the middle. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So you'll be able to open it like this. You'll see the inside of the bag. It's the bottom. There we go. Now you can see a little bit better where you're cutting when you cut the bottom piece off. Up the bag. See, now you have a whole wide piece of fabric to use. Now you're just gonna get your thing you just made. Put this part right in the middle. Line it up in the middle. Get it here. And you're gonna cut around it. You can draw, if you have some chalk or something, you can draw it out and cut it. Let me see if I can find my chalk. I don't know where I put that piece of chalk. Anyway. Just um, follow your template, hold it down nice and tight and cut around it. And make sure you leave enough space around the outside. There, the template allows for um, some seam allowance. Uh, sorry, my key is losing their mind. Anyway, allow for some seam allowance around the outside so don't cut it exactly like on the line. The pattern is a little big but just to be on the safe side, just add just a little bit. And it doesn't have to be much since you're not sewing. So after you cut it out, it's gonna look something like this. I'm turn it around this way. This is what it looks like. And that's the front. And if I flip it over, you can kind of see this part right here. We're gonna cover this up. You can either use a different piece of fabric and make two of these and put them both together all the way around or you can just have one strip of fabric to just cover this part up so then you'll still have the double protection without making a whole other thing so, but we're going to do that after we do this next step so you're going to use your hot glue gun now and what you're going to need to do make sure you can see me what you're going to need to do is fold all the edges over each edge and glue it down a little bit at a time. Just glue down each of the edges so that you don't have rough edges and that it doesn't unravel. So do that. Okay, so I've got these edges glued down so they're not going to come undone. So now I'm going to cut a piece of fabric to go right in here. And hopefully I can get a piece out of this that's left over. Looks like there's a lot, so it won't be a big deal. Okay, so I just cut out a piece of fabric that's big enough to cover this area. You can make it bigger or smaller, but if you make it big enough to cover your mouth and nose, it'll still have, you know, like the double layer protection without having to use, without having to cover everything. And you can also use this as a pocket for a filter, depending on how you glue it. Like you could um, just glue the bottom and the top, and then you can slide a filter into the sides, or you can glue it this way, and then slide a filter in the top. So I'm just gonna um, 
glue it down and across and back up again and leave this open just in case I want to put a filter inside there. So now I have the middle section in here. So now it's a little pocket. If you can see that, you can open up the pocket just like that. So now we have to decide if we're going to use the string, which if you're going to use a string, you just pull it out and cut it and then um, use a piece on each side. I'm going to pull it out of here. There's a knot somewhere in there. But if you can't find a knot, just cut the string just like that. And I think I found a knot now. Just cut it so that you can cut it in half. So you got two pieces. So since you're since you're gluing it, you can honestly just fold it over this way, just like this, and glue it in. Fold this side, do the same thing, and glue it in there. But I don't think I want to use that. I think I want to use this string because it's so cozy my ears so I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm just gonna put the elastic in there but you can use the ropes and then tie them. I'm gonna fold it over and then I'm gonna glue it down shut okay so now that you've got those glued on all you have to do now is tie your elastic or your string together after you got these things tied off, you try it on. After you try it on, you might realize that you have a little bit extra fabric. And since you're gluing this, it's not a big deal. You'll just fold some of the fabric up like that and glue it down. Or if you have a little bit too much at the top, just fold it down and glue it. Because everybody's face is shaped a little differently. And this fabric doesn't have much stretch or it doesn't like spring back or anything like that. So you might have to glue it down a little. And after, after you've got the um, mask shaped the way you want to and you feel like it fits well, you can cut these strings off at the end and then you can pull it through the loops and get rid of it. Or you can keep the, you can keep the extra just in case you might want to tighten it or loosen it or whatever. You just stuff it down on the inside of this loop. And once you've done that, you're pretty much done with your mask. So I'm going to show it on. I'm going to try it on and show you how it looks. And you can glue these down if you don't want them sticking up, but I don't mind it. And there you go.